Hello Composers, Mike here. Do you want to save time when recording new parts in your music? Well, let me show you the amazing record repeat function in Logic right now. I will also give you a bonus tip in the end of this video. So let's say you have a track like this. And then you want to record a new port here on the horns, for example. And uh, as you record uh, in the usual way, like this. You keep messing up the recording uh, part. You need to stop and then delete this and then go back and then do the recording part again. Well, you can avoid all that mess by using the record repeat function. So if you right click up here on the record button, you see that there are actually three ways the record button can work. Straight record, which means if I press, for example, over here and then record, then I can simply not click here. I need to press the stop button to stop the recording. Then the other way, which is a record toggle, which means if I start a recording, I can stop it with the record button and it will continue playing. So it's simply uh, only using the record button there. And then finally, record repeat. And record repeat means that you can start recording, for example, here. And as soon as you mess up, you press the record repeat button again, and it will instantly jump back to the beginning and you can do another take of the performance which you hopefully get right the second time or perhaps the third time. So what you want to do is not go up here of course, you want to have this on a key command. So I have chosen to use, let's see, edit key commands, um, record, here you can simply search for record, you find record uh, repeat here. I have it on, let's say, shift and this asterisk here, but that's because I'm using this controller, if you can see, to the side here, and this button here is actually activating that key command. So I can press this, start the recording, if you listen now. And let's say I messed up, I simply press that again, it starts over and I can... God damn it! Once more. As many times as you wish. Whoops. So that's how you use the record repeat function. It will avoid the mess of having to stop, delete and go back and uh, do the retake. However, this will only work if you start and stop the recording with the record repeat key command. So if I start something now. I need to press this again. If I start again now, I will show the wrong way. If I press spacebar to stop now, it's pretty much the same thing as I, it would have been if I used the ordinary record function. And now I can't press this. It will not go back to the original state. So you need to start and stop with the record repeat key command that you set up. Now here's my bonus tip for you. You can set up both the record repeat and the record toggle as two different key commands. Uh, actually, I recommend you to do so because in most cases you want to record a full section or a full part, then you use the record repeat feature, but sometimes you want to do kind of a punch in recording, so simply playing back a track and then in the middle adding something, recording something, and then stop the recording but continue playing. So let's do that now. So what I did there was use the key command for record toggle, not record repeat. So in this case I simply punched in the recording and punched out the recording, but it continued to play the track. Please like, share and comment on this video to support my channel, and I will see you in the next video my friends.